closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Listen, you should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. If the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. You see that ruin up there? Now ain't this a surprise? you decided to come with me. We're almost to River.
I'm just a... I get so lonely out here. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Yarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? All right then. There's enough for all of us if you aren't greedy.
got ourselves a hero.
Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. What? The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in, but we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those... The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Till next time. So this is... We I'm spoken for, you know, so don't get any ideas. I just hope the war doesn't come to Riverwood. There's enough trouble in the world without those Stormcloaks stirring up more. All right, then. I hope that dragon is still flying around there somewhere. Or you didn't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak and his top lieutenants. Right, the leader of the Stormcloaks. They claim to be fighting for Skyrim's freedom, but the war is really all about Ulfric wanting to be High King of Skyrim. You haven't heard of the civil war in Skyrim? I guess down in Cyrodiil, people have other things to worry about. It's pretty simple. Ulfric founded the Stormcloaks years ago, as a sort of private army to advance his ambitions. He's always used the ban on the worship of Talos to stir people up against the Empire. He never succeeded in getting much support. So a few months ago, he murdered the High King. That got the Empire's attention. A masterstroke by General Tullius. He's only been in charge here for a few months, but he's turned things around for the Empire. We've been trying to catch Ulfric since the war started. But he always seemed to slip through our fingers, like he knew we were coming. This time, the general turned the tables on him. Ulfric rode right into our ambush with only a few bodyguards. He surrendered pretty meekly too. So much for his death or glory reputation. I thought we were taking Ulfric back to Cyrodiil. But I guess the general changed his mind. You know the rest. So did I. If the damn Stormcloak somehow found one, or woke it up, the war might be about to take an ugly turn. Hard to believe it was just a coincidence that the first dragon anyone seen for centuries attacks just as Ulfric was about to be executed. Of course. I know, today wasn't the best introduction to the Legion, 
but I hope you'll give us another chance. The Legion could really use someone like you, especially now. And if the Rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. No, not yet. After all, a dragon, something out of old tales and legends, no one could have expected that. But you can bet he'll be trying to figure it out. This could shift the whole balance of the war. If you want to help stop that dragon, your best bet is to go to Solitude and join up with the Legion. Sure, I understand. It's not easy to go from being executed by the Legion one day to joining up the next. But I think you'll see that the Legion is Skyrim's only hope for real peace right now. I know you'll make the right choice in the end. Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers, but you seem all right. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. People are rightly stirred up about the damn Thalmor being allowed to roam around arresting people just for worshipping Talos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart? And maybe destroying the Empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. It's from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Talmor to outlaw Talos' worship. We didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. And sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down. Dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. Of course, take what you need. There's something you could do for me. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Jarl Balgraf? He rules Whiterun Hold. A good man, perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torik when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torik, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. I see no harm in it. 
if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Well, I'd better get some sleep. Don't mind me. Did you really see a dragon? Make yourself at home. It's nice to be back in a friendly spot. Huh? 